In this video, we want to use the portal crane to store parts in a storage area. We start plant simulation and click Manage Library. On the tab Libraries, select Standard Libraries free of charge and select the checkbox in front of Crane. Click OK. This will add the Crane library to your class library. We insert the object storage area of the Crane library. Double click the storage area to open its dialog. We set the length of a storage place to 13 meters and the width of a storage place to 3 meters. The length and width of the storage area will be automatically adjusted. We set the number of storage places to 5 places in the X direction, 5 places in the Y direction, and 3 places in the Z direction. With these settings, we can stack three parts on each storage place. On the tab Removing, we select the checkbox next to Automatic Removing. This activates removing of parts from store with an interval of 10 minutes. Now we close the dialog of the storage area. Next, we insert a portal crane. We do this in any arbitrary direction. We then drag the portal crane over the storage area and drop it there. This assigns the portal crane to the storage area. It also assigns the same orientation to the storage area that the portal crane has. Open the dialog of the portal crane. We set the width of the crane to 18 meters and the number of portals to 1. On the tab portal, we set the length of the portal to 12 meters, the width of the portal to 18 meters, the height of the portal to 15 meters, and the overhang to 0. On the tab Trolley, we set the lift height to 12 meters. Click OK to close the dialog of the portal crane. We might have to adjust the position of the crane so that the storage area is located directly below the crane. Finally, we add a source object two stations and a drain and connect them. We drag the object station over the storage area and drop it there. In the dialog that opens, we select Entrance and click OK. This defines the station as the entrance station, where the portal will pick parts and move them to the storage area. This will also add an exit control to the station. We then drag Station 1 over the storage area and drop it there. This time we select Exit in the dialog that opens to define the station as the exit station where the portal will unload the parts when removing a part from store. We open the folder MUSE, open the content menu of the object part and select Duplicate. Now we open the context menu of the newly created part 
named Part 1 and select Open in 3D. Delete the graphic of Part 1. We select Import Graphic and import a graphic file of the container. Open the 3D Properties dialog of the graphic and click Move to Zero to position the center of the graphic at the center point. Click OK to close the dialog and close the 3D window of the container. We open the dialog of Part 1. On the Tools menu, we select Calculate Dimension from 3D. This will set the dimension of the part according to the dimension of the 3D graphic. Click OK to close the dialog window. Finally, we assign Part 1 to the source object in our model. To do so, drag Part 1 and drop it on the source object. We open the dialog of the event controller and select Real Time to run the simulation in real time multiplied by 10. Reset and start the simulation. Cards. Driven by digitalization.